Well, the, the concerto is written for a bass tuba, which is a smaller version of my regular orchestral tuba, normal orchestral tuba I use on stage for 90%, 95% of the music I play is a contrabass tuba, uh, either a tuba pitched in double C or double B flat. In other words, either having 16 feet of tubing or 18 feet of tubing. Uh, the bass tuba is a, written for a smaller instrument, slightly shorter, uh, an F tuba or an E flat tuba. Uh, this piece is written for a bass tuba and therefore captures a lot of the upper tessitura, tessitura of the of of the, of those bass uh, of the bass tuba. The only problem is is that uh, after a lot of debate, I chose about five days ago to actually play the thing on a contrabass tuba, which is making life really miserable. There's a lot of swear words coming out of the practice room these days because the notes are all higher. That means the distance between them is a lot shorter, at least on the, on the bigger tuba, which means there's more chance of error. However, the sound of <clears throat> the, uh, uh, one of the CSO York tubas um, really shows and demonstrates a lot of the sound that this, these, this very special tuba can make and gives a lot of dynamic contrast and um, works work quite well. I hope the sacrifice uh, is, is worth it because uh, it's, it's a great concerto and to play it on a contrabass tuba is something I would have never thought that I would actually eventually do, but it just seems to be the right decision at the moment unless I change my mind tomorrow. I think there was a special time just a few years ago after having studied the piece for, well, since high school, I did manage to go over to London and went into the British Library and went through the process of actually uh, looking at the facsimile, actually looking at the score, the real stuff that Vaughn Williams actually worked on, the real paper. And you sit there and there's all these lights on you and the lights, and then they present this score in front of you, and it was. It took me a few minutes to even open up the front, the, the front cover of the thing, because to realize this is Vaughn Williams, the paper he actually wrote the stuff on, that he actually wrote the concerto on. That you know, if you scratch the page a little bit, you scratch the, the the pen marks or the pencil marks, and that you'll actually get some of Ralph Vaughn Williams' DNA under your fingernail. I mean, it's it was a really kind of a moving experience. So. And maybe that's just something that occurs whenever you look at an original, uh, an original score. But uh, it was it was rather moving for me to to look at this. The parts that I enjoy playing are the ones I get right. <laughs> I'm I've actually rewritten some of the cadenzas so that the um, so that more of the contrabass tubas. Uh, fortes, uh, no pun intended, can be brought out. Um, things that the, the, the bigger tuba can do, which is more low notes. Um, um, but um, <clears throat> if I can get through this reasonably well, why hopefully people will uh, have a very good <clears throat> musical experience after they hear this piece. If nothing else, they're going to really enjoy the Beethoven <clears throat> When after intermission, I'm kind of warm a warm up act. I don't mind. It's it's a blast. I think it's a wonderful piece. And the second movement in, in particular, I remember Tommy Johnson telling me in a lesson once, he says, Oh, the second movement really sends me. Those are the words he used. He really sends me. 